Assalamualaikum and a very good day to everyone. So uh, our group will represent about the ISO 22716 which conclude the product of cosmetic. Uh, an increased number of cosmetic organization in Europe are implementing ISO 22716 to comply with the new European cosmetic regulation coming into effect in July 2013. The introduction of ISO 22716 Uh, pioneers are globally recognized quality standards for cosmetic products. However, other benefits can be derived in addition to legal compliance. Many cosmetic companies are now seeing the implementation of ISO 22716 as a business improvement tool. In 2013, it is likely that those ISO 22716 certified organization will have a competitive advantage from a sales and market marketing point of view. For ISO 22716 give guidelines for the production, control, storage, shipment of cosmetic products. For example, of the cosmetic product uh, like such as Fair and Lovely, Queen of Injara, and Kukute. These guidelines cover the quality aspect of the product, but as the whole, do not cover safety aspect for the personnel engaged in the plant. Not nor do they cover aspect of protection of the environment. In ISO 22716 are not applicable to research and development activities and distribution of finished products. So, let's go to my friend to know more and explain about ISO 22716. Okay, today I want to talk about the concept of ISO 22716. ISO 22716 give guideline for the production, control, storage and shipment of cosmetic product. This guideline cover the quality aspect of the production but as a whole do not cover safety aspect for the personnel engaged in the plant. Nor do they cover aspect of protection of the environment. The guideline in ISO 22716 are not applicable to research and de development activity and distribution of finished product. For the background for ISO 22716, the predicate served to the guidance, FDA, Cosmetic Good Manufacturing Guidance Inspection Checklist was based on document and information dating before the early 1990s. Much of the material in the predicate document has become audited In addition, there has been a great deal of progress in developing international consensus standard for cosmetics. Specifically, ISO is a non-governmental organization that develops and publishes international consensus standard. In September 2007, the International Cooperation on Cosmetic Regulation (ICCR), the quadrilateral international harmonization group, met in Belgium. During that meeting, the regulators from United States, Canada, European Union, and Japan agreed that it will be useful for the cosmetic industry to have a standardized scheme for GMP that could apply to their jurisdiction. As a result, the regulators from the these four jurisdiction agreed to take ISO standard for cosmetic GMP into consideration when developing or updating the line or other measure addressing GMP. See International Cooperation on Cosmetic Regulation.
outcome of meeting September 26 to 28, 2007. In developing this guidance, FDA has incorporated element of ISO 22716 as appropriate and consistent with FDA regulations. I'd like to talk, explain about in detail about the history of ISO 22716. ISO 22716 is published in September 2007. ISO 22016 provides guidelines to organization for the product control, storage and distribution of cosmetics product. Certification to ISO 22716 allows organization to demonstrate their commitment of safeguarding uh, quality and safety to their customers and other stockholders. For the example of ISO 22716, as of 11 July 2013, in Europe Union new regulation EC num uh, number 1223 slash 2009 requires cosmetics products to be manufactured according to good manufacturing practices (GMP). One way to demonstrate compliance with GMP is to implement the international standard. ISO 22716 is the introduction of management system approach to documentary and regulation to product control, storage, and shipment of cosmetic products. The standard guidelines will provide your organization with practical methods for managing the many factors that can affect product quality. With 30 years' experience in the health, beauty, and beauty industry, Intertech is one of the examples to bring in deep knowledge of the manufacturing process and GMP codes to cosmetic manufacturing. With their global network of auditors, they have provided a full compliance solution for ISO 22716 including auditing and certification training and e-learning tools. They also combine an ISO 22000 716 audit with other standards such as ISO 9001 and ISO 14001 reducing interruptions and saving their valuable time and money for the partners of Intertech they will gain a knowledge business partner dedicated to help on meeting objectives minimize risk and optimizing their supply chain after we have discussed about the ISO 22716 and now I want to explain the function of the ISO. First of all, it controls the hazard and risk. It means it controls hazard and risk associated with cosmetic products ensuring continuous improvement through the supply chain. Second, supply chain management. As an internationally recognition standard, it enables organizations to manage quality and safety compliance in cosmetic products supply chain. Number three, it is for the legal compliance. It means that it's be written by the cosmetic industry professionals. It ensures you comply with international law and looking at regulators around the world. The content for number four is easy implementation. It means your organization of all sizes and complexity can be implemented ISO 22760 and it also integrates well with ISO 9001 and BRC consumer products. And for the contents number five, it can improve the marketability. Your business gains global visibility and trust by showing that you are committed to ensuring the integrity and quality of your products. And last but not least, it can cost. It can reduce your cost. It means it is through this following the standards required for ISO 22716, you eliminate redundant services from your process and increase overall efficiency. You also minimize potential, reputational, and monetary losses. That's all.
Okay, the benefit uh, for benefit of ISO 227116 is integrate the typical recruitment for product and process quality manufacturing practice recruitment with other quality guidelines. For example, as line down in the pre required site for ISO 9001. Next, allow for easy implement with organization of all size and level complexity. Okay, the net benefit. in the cosmetic product supplier chains. Uh, next, foster legal complaints as adopted by operator around the world. Last but not least, for benefit of ISO 2017 is control and reduce cosmetic product hazards and promote continuous improvement throughout the supplier chains. So after we hear from my group members about the explanation for the ISO 22716 Okay, now it is, it is time for the conclusion Okay, for the conclusion ISO 22716 combine the benefit of a business management tool linking cosmetic quality and business processes with the ability to meet growing global legal and customer requirement for safe cosmetic product Specifically, this global recognized standard address and respond to international law for cosmetic good manufacturing practice. It has gained worldwide support through the International Corporation on Cosmetic Regulation ICCR, region of the European Union, United States, Canada and Japan, and as such as lead to adaptation of their own home ground standards and guidance as it ties in so effectively with their regulation. From us about the ISO 22716, okay, please subscribe or leave any comments below this video and that's all from us. Thank you. We will meet again.